nearest snooker table and he doesn't actually play too many snooker tournaments at all, if any. He plays a lot of eight ball tournaments, but uh, he's not doing too bad to get to the final of the Classic uh, this weekend. And uh, for those who don't know, um, Steve Robertson, uh, four times New Zealand champion, um, actually organised this tournament with Lone Star. And uh, just recently, he missed out on a 147 break. Um, apparently, missing the black didn't quite end up on it properly. And um, he was beaten. Oh, actually, he didn't qualify, sorry. Which is unreal because last year he won uh, nine tournaments around the New Zealand area. But it is very hard to try and run a tournament and uh, at the same time turn around and win one. So, is that right, Willie? Yeah? Yes. Simon's just rolled up behind the brown and left Neil in a curious space here. And he just played off the side cushion and uh, played to the red just behind the pink there. So apparently um, a lot of players in New Zealand don't, don't manage to um, you know, get enough practice um, during the week uh, because we're not professionals and um, you, know, you have to go to work and then uh, try and get as much practice as you can. But uh, having said that, um, uh, you know, um, there's a few players around that make century breaks in tournaments and, and that, that's a credit to them. Uh, Neil Wally apparently made a 116 break already and um, let's hope he does it again in, the, in this final. In fact, uh, the Simon Singleton, who's at the table at the moment, is a very, very prolific pool player. Um, he's won a lot of pool tournaments around the country, and um, apparently next weekend we got the uh, Living Classic pool tournament um, with a five thousand uh, dollar price tag to the winner, and uh, apparently he is one of the top favourites to, to take it out. So uh, uh, it's a credit to him that he's a very good snooker player as well. Yes, and someone's just run off the red, send the white ball down to the uh, ball cushion. And left Neil in a very difficult spot to get safety back down. As I'm saying that, he's played a nice shot. Yes, it's, it's not actually about uh, making big breaks. Um, it's a very, very tactical game. Uh, you have to be able to play uh, great safety at the same time.
and then saying that Simon did play uh, a shot there that wasn't quite a uh, very good safety but he's come off better there and landed behind the brown and uh, Neil is snoozing on all balls and with a 41 point lead this could be the could be the end of this frame <coughs> So uh, Willie, who, who would be your pick out of these two gentlemen to uh, to take this final out? What do you think? Well, Harry, in saying that, um, after watching that shot by Neil, he played it very well. Um, very hard to say. Um, obviously, Neil's. Uh, made the only century in this tournament so far and um, you would think that he's <coughs> doing the best at the moment but uh, every frame's different every match is different and uh, yes that's true so I, I really wouldn't know uh, Hopefully we're in for a good match. I think we will be, because um, Simon Singleton actually took out uh, our favourite Chris McBreen. Yes. And um, that's an amazing feat, because yeah. that Chris McBreen over the years has been, um, you know, He's one, been of, one of New Zealand's yes. top premier players exactly. over the years. But uh, as I have talked to Chris over the weekend, and he does say that now he's a, a father and a husband doesn't get very much time to practice that's and amazing it's funny you should say that Willie because um, I was talking to him earlier and he was saying oh I'm thinking about giving up the game and um, <laughs> it's amazing because after he beat me uh, in, the, in the quarterfinals I said keepers please don't give up the game you're so talented yes you know? Um, he's actually got the highest break in, in, in tournament play in New Zealand, which yeah, is the a one point five. Yes, exactly. And in, in fact, that year in Stratford, he that actually he, uh, he pushed out three one forty breaks. Yes, he did that in two or three and others. Uh, at the New Zealand Champs, I think, in it might have been the late nineties, Harry. Yes, and um, they did record it on uh, have a TV screen going on, and he made a one forty two in section play, and then and then a one four five. I, me I remember him doing that. Uh, brilliant to watch. It was uh, oh, absolute talent. Oh, and uh, Chris has uh, actually just come back from Germany, where he was uh, actually working in the pool, I believe, and uh, doing some coaching. And in fact, he was still on the pro circuit. Yeah. So, um, my God, it, that's so hard. I mean, the yeah. talent in the world now is just unbelievable. You know, if you don't play your top game and stop missing, they will chew you up. That's how great the game is nowadays. Yes, as we see on TV and, and Sky Sports. Okay, at the moment the place safe. I think he's uh, going to have a weak crack at the black in the middle. It's a pretty dangerous shot, actually. But look at that! Oh my God, that was amazing. It looked like that was going in, Harry, but... Um, <laughs> That's what I thought. He, he, he would have been right in there, and uh, so... Yeah, but as for yourself, Harry, I'm talking about uh, Neil Wally's um, uh, century break there. And, and as you know, you would have made plenty in your day at tournaments. And uh, it's a nice feeling to make a hundred break in a tournament, isn't it, Harry? Yes, it is, Willie. Really, um, a lot of people <laughs> don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, they, they call it misspent youth, but <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, yeah. I mean, it is sport. Yes. And I, as I don't, nowadays, they don't, they don't call it misspent youth anymore. It's a sport. Yes. It's a beautiful game. And yes, that is amazing feeling to make a century or two in a tournament. And um, 
and you deserve it because you have to work hard on the oh, game. Yes. You have to be uh, dedicated, like these two are. So Simon's got a 41 point lead, he's on a colour, 5 reds on the table, that's 67, and uh, I think it needs a colour and 2 reds, 2 reds with a colour and the frame should be safe after that. Beautiful shot. Uh, but he went in off in the middle pocket. Oh, did he? Oh, sorry, I did, did not see that one. But mm. um, the balls are a bit scrappy, yeah. so, um, you know, like sneaky players, especially the top players, they, they like to try and keep the colours on their spots. Yes. Because uh, in the situation where they get left on, there's a great opportunity to clean the table out and yeah. take frame for frame. But obviously, this situation. That is not a very easy thing to do. So we'll probably end up with a tactical frame incoming. As I was talking about that, Harry, um, apparently you on the news uh, maybe well, uh, uh, a month ago about um, making a, um, a 147 there. Uh, oh, thank you for making that. Uh, um, a real club? Uh, yes, I, yes, an I achievement did, uh, that not many New Zealanders have made and uh, and apparently your son has made it one as well. Yes, uh, my son uh, had four maximum breaks before I got my first one, so, uh, and um, it's unbelievable, I thought, oh my God, I don't want to leave the sport without at least having made one, so in the end of the day I ended up making six. Yes. And uh, it's been ten years since I made that last one just recently and um, it was just a situation I saw it and I thought well I have to and um, I didn't expect to get it because sometimes to play for maximum you can't just say oh, I gotta get one and you get one yeah um, sometimes it might take 15 20 30 attempts before you get one so um, yeah I'm actually quite proud of that uh, and um, I'm proud of you for getting yeah. that one Harry and thank you and being on the news and it's uh, How many snooker players are out there? It's a bit of a dream for, for a lot of these snooker players to, to even get one. So, and you've made six, so... Seven. So seven. So, yeah. That's Sorry about seven. that, Harry. I was, I was wondering okay. I left one out there. Well, was that the one you made six. against me, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so, no, it's yeah. beautiful. You know, it's, it's just a beautiful sport. It's unbelievable. Yeah. The... the um, concentration and dedication you have to have for this game is absolutely unbelievable absolutely okay Simon is leading by 52 points um, there's 51 on the table, so Neil <coughs> actually needs a snooker. And for those of you who don't know out there, 50, 51 is scored with three blacks in all the colours. Oh, sorry, I do see two reds over there. So there's 59, so there's um, enough on the table there too. Okay, yeah, they're moving the white ball now because apparently there's been a foul and miscalled. A foul and misses. 
when a ball is on that you're playing for and you miss it completely and they'll just put the white ball back where it was positioned yes. in its last place. Secondly, I'd like to um, thank uh, Matt Edwards for um, ha putting this um, live stream on. Um, for those out in New Zealand that know that this tournament's on and it's, well, uh, apparently it's a, it's a premier tournament. So, uh, all, all, all the few of the top players around the country, especially exactly. well, a couple of them have come from the South Island. Exactly. So, so um, just like to thank Matt for. Um, you know, yes, thank you, mate. Sorted out, it's a bit of his time and his efforts, and you know, and he does it with uh, pleasure. It is a pleasure. Mm. <coughs> okay, Neil, play the red down to the uh, right hand black cushion uh, pocket, and. Um, Mr. I think he's left Simon on with a easy starter. And uh, most likely we'll uh, take the frame out from here. Yes, and Neil has uh, conceded the first frame, first frame to Simon Singleton, and uh, this is a five match. Yes, well, he, um, ah, well we, we can only see what's going to happen soon, um, because that Neil Wally really is a very good player, um, so we're expecting a bit of fireworks here, hopefully. Yes. Okay then, now and we'll just be passing it over to uh, Stu Wilson and uh, maybe someone else. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Okay, we're into the second frame. Uh, Samuel Singleton obviously won the lap. Looking forward. Well, I'm back on commentary, guys. With a bit of experience this time, Harry Hyena. Simon must be playing really well. Well, uh, Simon's a very good player. I've, uh, I've, had, I've had the pleasure to, to meet the guy, and uh, <coughs> especially um, I, I've actually met Simon through Paul, and uh, he's a beautiful, beautiful player. You've had many close encounters with him on the pool table at all? I haven't had the pleasure, to be honest. Well, um, not yet. <laughs> yes, no. Uh, well, maybe next weekend at Levin you might get that time? Yes, well... Someone was telling me earlier, Harry, that this is his second snooker tournament? 
I believe. Apparently, but uh, he has played sneaker before, but uh, his his passion is pulled. And, and obviously, I don't blame him. Coming from a seven foot table to a twelve foot table is massive difference, but he's doing really well this weekend. Yes, yes. Come through the section of death, and now look where he is. He's in the final. No one wants to make a nearer because they're both capable of big breaks. not good. Exactly, he uh, obviously tried to clip the reed as far as possible and get up to the bulk end. And apparently that hasn't happened, so there could be a wee problem here. Very nice. So let's hope this is a uh, Nice little break here, at least 50 plus. It does look apparently like the black may be off of the right hand corner pocket. Um, it is a bit dicey though. unreal actually because this, people don't believe this game is just like playing uh, thinking like chess um, as in to play one red to get on your colour to get on the next colour and that involves getting the correct angles on each ball takes a lot of thinking and a lot of patience to play so obviously the idea is to keep uh, try and make each shot or pot as simple as possible. It's, it's about shot selection actually. Meaning you don't play for one red when you can play for three. And uh, that, that's pretty much the secret to break building to be honest. What's he going to do here, Harry? Go through for the pink? Well, if I believe if the black's on in the left hand corner pocket, he might as well. No, he's played for pink in the, no, that black's in the middle. The black's tied up, actually. Is it? Yep. Okay. It must be because... He's um, played for the I pink. I think it is too, actually. Yes, pink. And like I said, you know, you generally you're trying to keep the, the correct angle on each pot. So that's to move on to the next one, to move on to the next one, to move on to the next one. Still got that red on below the white on, or the one above. Looks like he's taking it on. Shots enough. <coughs> no, he was taking it on.
What happened there? I think looks like it was a foul. Not sure. Yeah, it looks like Neil sent him back in there. Looks like he's going to be playing another safety. Oh, is that green ball? No, it's okay. Neil's at the table. Safety games come out and Neil this game. Doesn't want to give anything away to Simon. Back on commentary with me is uh, Willie. Uh, thank you, Jared. Thank you. Very exciting final we got on here. Uh, Simon, Sin Simon Singleton from uh, Queenstown is um, leading 1 0. He's at the table at the moment. Very scrappy table, but. Uh, So what were your thoughts on the field this tournament, uh, Willie? Oh, the field was um, extraordinary. We had some of the best players New Zealand have, has ever had. The likes of uh, Steve Robinson, Harry Heinger, uh, Chris McBreen coming out of the woodwork there. He was a top player around uh, years ago. And then we've got a lot of younger players like Louis Chan, yourself and... Uh, so yeah, um, get the I think the game at the moment is in um, good order, and uh, good to see uh, young young guys come through. And uh, yourself there, um, Jared, um, how's your game going? Um, well, coming to this tournament, um, I just come down to catch up with everybody but you know also to try to give it my best yes um didn't get much practice and unfortunately i was a bit gutted with that um a bit more of a pool player myself i am yeah but you know i enjoy playing snooker always helps with the game of pool go back and it becomes like playing playing with my eyes closed really so it's always good help That was a good shot by Neil to free the black. Unfortunately, it's not on. He's got the pink, or he's got the green over the corner pocket. Looks like he's playing the green. Oh. Look at himself. Very unlucky there. It was a tough shot, but he snooked himself on the wall reads. Neil hasn't left much, which is good, he's just left a long red to the corner pocket, by the looks of it up table. Looks like he's going to take the shot on, he'll back himself here. Oh, what a shot. <laughs>
like he's gonna play. He's gonna stun around the green, around probably two cautions for Rids in the open down the bottom. He's going forward. No, he went up. He went top. That was a good shot by Simon there. <coughs> We've got a new person here on commentary with me now. We've got a uh, young Mikey Stewart. <laughs> young. He had a good roll this tournament. Getting older. Getting older. So what are your thoughts on these two finalists, Mikey? Um. Well, I haven't seen much of them. I've seen Neil play quite a bit. He often comes up to the the North Island for tournaments up here, and um, he's he's a great player. But I haven't seen much of um, much of Simon play. I heard about him. He's um, got a few good pool results. Um, but this is only his second ever snooker tournament, so he's done well. He's a good player. I had to play him in section play, and um, he absolutely thrashed me. So he's made a couple of good breaks as well during the tournament. He made a 77 against me, and a 97 against um, someone else in our section um, he had a chance for a century there that would have been would have been good for him he still seems to be playing well this final yeah yeah they've both been playing well all, all weekend earlier today I think um, Neil got made a 116 break Yes, he did indeed. I think that's uh, still the high break of the tournament. Be good to see if uh, someone can make a century in this final. I think the audience deserves it. But I don't think anyone's going to give any cheap shots away this tournament, uh, this frame, or this game actually. It's going to be tightly contested. Yeah, definitely. I'd say they've played each other a few times down on the South Island, so. Looks like he's going to play this shot on the rail. Looks like he's going to tr might go safe here. Try to leave the cue ball up behind the brown on the cushion. bit short on pace there. Not the best safety. That cue ball's got to be tight on the rail if you want to win comps like this. You'd expect Neil to put this red in here. And then probably get positioned for the pink to the middle. He'll back himself here. Although that's he's a great shot. Up, that's, that's even better. Good shot there by Neil. Good confident shot. Oh, oh no, he's, he's missed, missed it. it. Ouch. He's missed it by by a long way. That's not good for Neil letting Simon in. Another easy starter. Simon will take this. Hopefully build a decent lead off this. Try put Neil under some pressure. Oh. What happened there? I think the pressure's just getting to them a little bit here. They're missing shots that they wouldn't usually miss.
bit awkward here on the pink. Oh. Played it good. Is he on there, Red? Nope. Just playing the safety. There we go. What is that cue ball? We just left them on. Oh, what a shot. That's a good shot from Simon there. Doesn't look to be on a colour though. Had a look at the pink there for a second. And now he's sticking to the yellow. Almost fluked that into the middle. Both these players seem to um to not be settled in yet. That's a good uh see what Simon does here. Will he take the shot on? Does he back himself or will he play safe? Oh he's not missing. Superb. Interesting to see how he gets down to this red, Mikey. He looks to be quite straight on that brown, doesn't he? Looks like it from here. Is he is he playing? Does he think he's playing well enough to pot a pot a good ball and get down for that red, or is he gonna drop a colour and and just play safe on the red? As Harry was talking about earlier, it's like a chess game. You've got to think, really think about your moves and what you're going to do. And what you're going to leave your opponent afterwards. See, Simon was really thinking about it then. He's played safe. He's gone to play the snooker there. Um, that's not what he wanted to do. He want, probably wanted to get the white up behind the blue. And he's still got the snooker, so he's going off the rail there, Neil. He's got it. Uh, not the best escape, but he'll be happy with that. Yep, I think the yep. pinks, pinks come to his rescue a bit. Bridging over the rest makes it a bit... Oh, over the pink, sorry. Makes it a bit harder. Oh, thought he fluked that for a second. Neil might roll the white up behind the brown here. Let's see what he does. Oh no, he's playing this other safety shot. Oh, he's left him on the rail. That's a so good that, shot. Yep. Good weight on the cue ball. Oh, that's a that's lucky. The draw came to the rescue there for Simon. Looks like we could be in for a bit of a safety battle here. Yeah. 
Neil won't want to lose this frame, as then he'll be 2 0 down in the final, and then all the pressure will be on Neil to do the comeback. If Neil manages to get this, we'll be in for one good game, I reckon. Yeah, I think we'll be in for a, a good game no matter what. Both these players are top players. Bit of a loose safety shot there from Simon. Chance Neil's for Neil here. Neil's long shots have been on point today. S let's see what he does here. Will we take it on? Oh, he did too. Ah. Has he got away with it? Yeah. Just. Oh, oh he's over overswerved it. Same pocket, save Simon again. Looks to be safe though. Neil will send the white ball long, leave the red on the bottom cushion. You would think. Oh no, he's going the other way. That's a good shot. Looks like he's got the snooker as well. No, there must be a gap. Oh, there was two. There was. How about this for an answer? Top shot. And he's got the snooker. Red's over the... nearly over the pocket. Just a bit of a swerve here. Oh, he's missed it. And he's left a free ball. What would you do here, Mikey, if um, you were in this situation? What would I do? I'd it's hard to hard to tell, really. Um, but I think if I was in Simon's position, I'd just try and uh, get a get a couple more points. So maybe take the blue or the green um, because he's he's quite a bit of heat here. He's really thinking about it. He hasn't left him he the might easiest shot. Might it looks like he's taking the free ball. He's played the snooker. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, he's covered covered the escape from the left hand cushion um, so it just makes it a little bit more trickier for Neil Ooh. yeah that's, that's a good, good shot I think he's actually uh, the yellow and pink have covered him here actually so he He's going for a swerve. That's a good shot. Oh, he's tucked in behind the green there. <coughs> by the looks of this. Hey, oh, I overswerved it. Possibility of another free ball? No, not this time.
And Simon's um, got the referee to put it back there. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a, the right choice. He had a chance at the red there. I thought Simon would have backed himself to put that red, actually. Yeah. Pretty good shot from Neil there. He's got it safe. Paul players in their doubles. Does he go for it? Nope, he's going safe. No, he's, he's played the safety. Is that cue ball going? It's in the hole. Mistake there from Simon. Neil will take this on. Yeah, if he can get back up for uh, for the pink or blue, then he might might have a chance at this frame. Yeah, it's a good shot. He's played a good shot there. Fantastic, Kewis Neil. The shots of the yellow is key now. Oh, he's landed perfect. We should see him uh, run this out. Landed a bit high, a bit under on the green actually. See what he does with it. Ooh. Oh, he's just tried to flick the brown out there. Well, looks like he's going to be playing the safety here. Yep, he did. Has the pink come to the rescue? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he's got it. That's a nice pot. He's got the draw to the rescue. He's got a. He's on the blue. Probably just. I believe. The brown was frame ball. Yep. Unfortunate for Neil. He put on a good safety battle. Yeah, in the end his safety just went tight enough. Here we go. Is this the friends Neil conceding? No, he's looking at the scoreboard. Just a quick glance. Almost It'll like be quite difficult to get snookers here, considering where the black is. He's going to have a crack at it. I think he's tried to get the black off the cushion there. No, he's just pushed it closer. This is difficult now. Yeah, I think his only option is to try and get the black off the cushion if he's to go for snookers. Oh, looks like Simon's doing it. Oh. What's he doing now? All Simon's got to do here is just push the pink as close, close as he can to the pocket or put it in the pocket. Oh, what's he got here? Uh, not quite hard enough here. Yeah? Here we go at this. Good line. Here we go at this, Mikey. Yeah, you should just drop it in here. Yeah. It's 
going in. Yep, nice shot. It's 2-0 to Simon in the final. He's playing some great snooker. Be interested to see how Neil answers this now, Mikey. Yeah, yeah, he's um, he's definitely under pressure now. Um, but Simon definitely is still under a bit of pressure as well because if he knows he gives Neil a chance, then Neil could definitely has the potential to clean up. And if he comes back, then yeah, Simon will be put under even more pressure. Like the players have gone for a quick break. They're back now though. Third frame. Third frame, Neil to break. That's a good break off shot. Yep, not bad. Got a good good pace on the white there, so makes it a bit more difficult for Simon. Just played the containing safety there. Good shot. He's got surprisingly good safety for a for a pool player. No offense to pool players, but I thought he'd be all about potting, and he is, when he gets in amongst the balls, but he's still a very good safety player. Oh, looks like Neil's left them on here. This is his chance. Yep. First chance to Simon. Looks like he's got a bit of swerve on that. Oh, maybe, it, maybe it wasn't quite on. He's got away with it though. Blue to the safety again. He's got a good, good cue ball. It's yeah, okay. That's a good safety there. Sent the brown. Still safe. Both players will be wanting to play safety and try force the other one to make the error. Since there's a lot of reds developed now. No one wants to make the error, so it could cost you the match. That's good safety there. Tight on the rail. Beautiful shot. Well done, Neil.
Ooh. You Shot to nothing there by Neil. Slipped nothing's gone. Quite, quite difficult from where the cue ball was. Hampered by the brown. Half chance for Simon here. Is he going to take this red on Mikey? Yeah, it looks like it. He's backing himself. Ooh. Close. Bit of a safety as well. Got away with it again. There's a few players, a uh, few people in the uh, audience today, today, so uh, that's good for the game. This club's uh, got a really nice set out, uh, lots of space for supporters and an audience. That's a bit of a loose safety, Mikey. Doesn't yes. look like anything's on though. Got away with that. Always a bit of luck in the game. Nope, there was a loose red and he took it on. Still not quite settled in yet, these two, but... Here's Neil's opportunity. What's he going to make of it? Still pretty tough from here. A bit scrappy at the moment. Yeah, I think they're all just... They're both just uh, taking on 50-50 shots and, uh, and not getting them at the moment. Nothing much is happening for either of them. He's took it on. He's got it. That's a good shot from Simon there. That's nicely cued. Anything kind he left himself? Yes, he has. He's left him. It's a good shot from Simon. He's got a red close to the pocket. They can take himself back up to the blue by the looks of it. He's got a bit of work to do if he wants to get the black into play. The bit pinks, hampered. Pink's out of order at the moment as well, so. He's only got the blue to work with. He's queuing up. It's not good. Not the best from Simon. Let's see what Neil can do with this. Simon won't want to get too carried away with this 2 0 lead. Still got to play some smart snooker to get the win. Both these players have had a lot of chances this frame, but none of them seem to take take much of the chances. Oh, that's a bit unlucky there for Neil. He's left Simon a shot at the red, up table. Mm. Could be in for another scrappy frame here. Not the best shot there. See what he can make of it. 
Might just tuck him in a way. Yeah, I think that's the shot here. Yeah. He's playing the rush shot. Great shot. Now Neil will have to play a play a good shot here to leave it safe. He's gone oh no, he's pot. got it. Ooh. Oh, he's got lucky. Well, was a good shot by Neil. Hasn't left much. He wanted to to hit that red over the pocket. It's on for Simon, but I'm not sure what he's, where he's going to leave the cue ball. Might try to go back up table for the blue. That's the only option. No, he's trying to free the black. Mm, it was tricky from there. Well, if he's going to Looks like just a safety on one of the bolt colours, probably. Still got the red up there as well, so he's got to choose where he wants to leave that cue ball, leaving it tough. Oh, he's gone for the pot. And he's missed it. And hasn't mm. left much for Safe now. Safe though. Unfortunately that red's not onto the corner past the yellow, so he got away with that one. Doesn't look like anything's on down near the black spot. Neil's going to put him in the safe. Oh, he's caught it too thick. No harm done, though. I think we're going to be in for a long safety battle here. No opportunities given away. Where's the cue ball going? Looks like the red's on. Yep, yep, looks like it. Simon will take that on. Oh, I think he tried to clip the black there. Yeah, it's okay though. Still got the blue. Take the points. Is he going to play the safety or play the pot? I'd take the points here. Yes, he's taking it. He's got the red on the rail, he can never crack it. I don't think he will, he'll probably play safe here. Yes, yes he, he did. He's played the safety. He's got a good cue ball, looks he like he has. He misses the green. That's oh, a that's good shot. <coughs> yep. That's superb. Beautiful. Just a containing safety from Neil. Not much else he could do there. Simon played a, a good safety shot. Has a 
hasn't left much. He's got a red to the middle there, but the likelihood of him playing that is, is very low. slim. Yeah. Looks like he's just running away again. Open up some reds in the meantime, but not leaving Neil a shot to have a go at it, obviously. That looks like a good, good safety shot from Neil there. Will Simon have a crack at this red? Looks like it's on. Is he going to back himself? There he had a go. Still. And it looks nothing. like he's got away with it again. <laughs> Unless he can cut the red in that's by the black. Looks like that's what he's doing. Uh, or he might be playing safe off it. Yeah, right, go. he's got it. And he's freed the black up. But only to this corner here on the screen. Looks like here Mikey's gonna free that black up so it goes on the spot again. Yeah, there's a good good chance here for a for a match winning break. No, he's gonna come back to the black later. Wrong side of the blue. Oh. Black's definitely available now. He's left another half chance for Simon. Simon can roll this through for the blue. No, he's bobbled. Oh, another miss. And by the looks, he's left the red on, just above the yep. blue. Another good chance for Neil here. He can't keep throwing them away. What will Neil make of this? I think both players have been quite fortunate to get a lot of chances in this match but neither of them making the most of them. Here we go, is this the start of it? No. Oh, he said it too soft. Maybe a bit of tension in the arm there from Neil. He's been given a lot of chances, but maybe just getting frustrated a bit, not not being able to make the most of them. See what Simon can make of this. It should all be there now. Yeah, usually Simon would c clear this up. Well, it's the opportunity he has been waiting for. Yep, that's a nice shot with the rest. Such beautiful style and technique uh, Simon has. No wonder why he's such a good pool player. This may not be the last time we see Simon on a snooker table. He'll be pretty yeah. happy with this run. Yeah, I think if he does well in this tournament, which he has done, um, that he will play a few more um, 
few more snooker tournaments. I, I don't think there's many down in the South Island. Um, so that's why he doesn't play much, but... Yeah, he, he probably... I think he's enjoyed himself this weekend, so he'll be back. Well, it's fortunate enough for him. We've got our Nationals down this year down in Gore, in Vicargo. Yeah, so I'd, I'd say we've seen him down. We'll see him down there. He'll be one of the most likely ones to contend for that title. You'd, you'd yeah, think. if he if he plays well like he has this weekend, he's definitely definitely got a chance. I think it's just how he handles himself under pressure, and he looks like he's he's doing well now. He let a bit loose in the start of the frame, but he's composed himself. I think he realised that he can't be giving away opportunities to Neil. He's got back on that red. No, he's fell short. Just hasn't timed that one nicely there. Still a chance with this red. With a 30 point difference, what's he going to do? If he can take both these, the available reds with blacks, that'll, um, that'll get him the, the frame, barring snookers. No, it looks like, what's he doing? No, he's, he's going opted to for the safety. It's a tidy shot from Where's Simon. The white ball? Oh, he's got the he's covered the red on the rail. I think he's this red to the left looks like it's on. Might play a safety out of this Neil. Yeah, the red out in the open. I think you can see that. Tricky though, avoiding the black. Looks like he's going to play a safety off this red to the left. Yep, it's got a good safety ball. there. What does Simon have an answer to that? Is he going to take this red on on the rail? Or is he going to play the percentages? No, he's got that red in the open actually. Safety. He's got a good one. Oh, it's yeah, beautiful. that's a good good shot from Simon there. Just two more reds with high value colours for Simon. And he can get the frame. So Neil really doesn't want to leave him on a red here. He's got the red. He's got the red on the rail. Yep, he's left left Simon a chance here. needs to compose himself for another few shots. That was a great shot. They can play the black for the reds. Beautiful style there. What do you reckon Simon's nickname would be if he had a nickname? Ooh. Simon the Giant Slayer Singleton. He's taken out He's taken out Baden Jackson and Chris McBreen. Two giants of the game actually in New Zealand. Yeah. He's taken out Baden to great. Definitely played Braden. well and he's looking looking to take this frame. I believe Baden's ranked number one, eh? Um, I'm not sure of the, the current rankings. But he's definitely up there. And Simon could be too if he played more snooker tournaments. Well there folks. Snooker's required for Neil. Looks like... 50 for the difference, 35 the on the table. 
What's he doing here? That's frame, he's conceded. You got your Lone Star Classic Champion 2016, Simon Singleton. Yeah, good result for Simon. Just want to say a big thank you to Matthew Edwards and the team for setting up this live streaming today. Without them you wouldn't be able to see this, so thank you Matthew. Yeah, and the Lone Star for putting on the tournament. And also and the other the other table sponsors. And also big ups to Steve Robertson for running this event. Yeah, he's done well, it's been a great tournament.